So I want to do a kind of a navigational video, a tutorial video on how to operate the Elgato HD software. So first things first, off the bat, you kind of want to open up the Game Capture HD software, which you can get for free off of the Elgato Gaming website. Um, you should just type in Elgato Gaming HD software in the Google description bar, and you should be able to find it. And so. There's really nothing shown on here, but when you have the device, which is this little icon here, um, it'll show up and there will be different settings to be able to input the PlayStation 4 now, as well as the Xbox One, the PlayStation 3, and um, the Xbox 360. So once you finally have your footage, you will take it over to the editing system here. And I do have a video file that I recorded recently, and if I just skim through all these recordings that I've made previously, find the one that I have, I recorded this in a huge chunk. So if I want to make an edit, I can just skim through the video, and let's see, it usually, yeah, see, it'll play automatically, and you can just upload it either straight to YouTube, you can upload it to Facebook, Twitter, your email account, blah, 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 blah. You can also set a specific folder and be able to export your video files that way. So then you can bring it into other non-linear editing systems such as Premiere Pro, Final Cut, which you can automatically set it to Final Cut settings and it'll send it straight to it. You can um, edit an iMovie if you want to. Obviously, iMovie is not that professional, so you want to use something that's used by industry standards. But if you want to make a quick cut, go to the specific spot in the video, say I don't want this first part to be shown where it kind of has the menu set up, set up. I can just go right to the beginning, make a cut with the scissors icon, and it'll set that specific area of the timeline to be exported out later, and it'll have this little blue area just pretty much means that where the video is, and it'll kind of export that area of the clip that you've selected. If you want to make another cut, let's say halfway through here like that, just do that. Otherwise, you can do Command Z to undo and it'll come pretty much snap back together. And you can pretty much make cuts depending on how long you want the video to be and send it to your specific folder. But I'm going to do it right up until like 15 minutes, so I'm going to go back all the way to the beginning. Sorry if the phone is being picked up on there. Um, yeah, so you want to go back to the very beginning, which will prob which won't be up here. La, 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 la. Sift through this for a little bit. But let's let's say for the fun of it that I want to kind of cut it at a specific point. But you do is you want to set your little time indicator, which is this. You would hit this, which is the scissors icon. You would select the video footage that you want by, if you're working on a MacBook Pro, you just tap the tap the mouse pad, and then it'll set new video clip from timeline. You've got multiple ways to do that, but um, go back to about let's say let's say I'll just do it at a simple time, and I'll just do it at like around 30 minutes, which will be fair enough. I can just go back and check out the area that I kind of did it at beforehand. So like right between, you know, I'll just cut it at here because I've already done this mission and showed a gameplay video of it, so I don't really need that footage. So I'll make a cut, click here, and then I can either do new video from, t new video from timeline selection, I can split this segment at playhead, I can delete the video, I can zoom in the footage, zoom out, it's really not that hard. You got your little buttons down here, which I failed to mention earlier, which you can fast forward, you can fast forward over here, you can fast rewind, you can go to the beginning of the video, blah, 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 and you can pause, play, do all that fun stuff. So I'm just going to go all the way back to the beginning of this. Anyway, yeah, those are pretty much the simple basic way to navigate through the timeline editor of the Elgato HD. I hope this really did help you guys out because honestly, when I was going through this, it was very, very confusing and kind of difficult to navigate through but overall I hope this helped you helped you guys out maybe I'll do another video in the future kind of showing more stuff on how to work through the editing software but for now this is kind of the video that I wanted to do for a while now and I hope you guys liked it anyway until next time peace